Let us now move to the next sub-item 11.B, examination of nominations for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. The Secretariat has informed me that Algeria withdrew its file, so it is no longer for us to examine. This means that 34 nominations remain to be examined under this item. Before starting the examination of the nominations, it is important that we remember the criteria that must guide our decision today. Can we see them on the screens? We have some time. Okay, from R1 through to R5. Let us move now to the examination of the individual files. Dear colleagues, we are about to start item 11B on the inscriptions on the representative list. I received a request from the distinguished delegation of Saudi Arabia to begin with the examin uh, examination of 11.B.27 concerning the nomination file from Saudi Arabia. I understand that the ambassador of Saudi Arabia and the delegation must return to their country. May I have the indulgence of the committee to respond favorably to this, rec to this request? Thank you. We can then start with this file 11.B.27. Thank you. We will now move to the examination of the nomination. Our quad, our Asiri female traditional interior wall decoration in Asir. Saudi Arabia submitted by Saudi Arabia. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of the evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Mr. Chairperson. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Al Qatl Asiri, a traditional interior wall decoration, is an art technique carried out by women in the community that involves decorating the interior walls, specifically in rooms for visiting guests. Nowadays, male and female artists, designers, and architects also practice the element. The art enhances social bonding and solidarity among the female community and its application in most households ensures its viability. Observation and practice are the key methods for transmitting knowledge and skills relating to the element. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1. Al Qatl Asiri is a spontaneous art technique initially performed by women. The element reflects the aesthetic traditions and local understanding of the natural and cultural symbols of Saudi Arabians through a traditional form of interior decoration. The way in which the walls are decorated also reflects the taste of the lady of the house and represents a, center, a sense of pride for the owner. R3, wide community and public actions are carried out to enhance the status and viability of Al-Qat. 
the viability of the element is ensured through its transmission within families and training courses, its application in households, contemporary interpretations in numerous public locations, research, inventory, documentation, and awareness raising activities, legal protection, and the establishment of a center for world cultures. R4, the initiative for the nomination came from the bearers of Al Qat, and the related information was first disseminated by the media. A workshop on community based inventory in held in 2016 in instigated the process leading to the nomination, which provided the free, prior, and informed consent. R5, the element was included in the intangible heritage of Saudi Arabia inventory in 2016. The inventory was drawn up with the active participation of the communities concerned, researchers, non-governmental organizations, and the government representatives. Maintained by the Ministry of Culture, the inventory is updated every five years. The evaluation body considers that the information included in the file is not sufficient to allow the committee to determine whether the following criterion for inscription on the representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity is satisfied. This relates to R2. At the local level, the inscription may raise awareness about the values of traditional crafts that nowadays incorporate modern techniques and may encourage the development of creative skills. However, the nomination doesn't describe how the inscription of the element would contribute to raising the visibility of intangible cultural heritage in general. Moreover, the file focuses mainly on the impact of the inscription within the community. The evaluation body recommends that the committee refer the nomination of Al-Qat Al-Asiri, female traditional interior wall decoration in Asir, Saudi Arabia, to the submitting state party. The committee may invite the state party to avoid measures such as granting licenses for practitioners, which may limit community access to the practice of intangible cultural heritage. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Scuti, for your kind introduction and explanation. And I think the Bureau received the amendment for this file, as we can see it on screens. Can you put it on screen? The floor is now open to committee members. I recognize Algeria. Shukran uh, Sayyid Rais. اسمحوا لي أن أطلب منكم إذا كان من الممكن إعطاء الكلمة للمندوبية لمندوب المملكة العربية السعودية ليوضح للجنة الموقرة عن بعض التساؤلات التي قد روضتنا هذه الأيام حول هذا هذا التسجيل ف. لذلك نود أن نسأله سؤالين permettez-moi je vais passer en français d'abord en concernant le critère R2 nous savons pertinemment tous en tant que membre du comité que le critère R2 est extrêmement difficile à, 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 à maîtriser et nous-mêmes nous avons eu par le passé euh, si je puis m'exprimer ainsi, maille à partir avec ce critère afin de le faire ressortir de manière convenable. Et euh, nous souhaiterions avoir euh, connaître les, euh, les difficultés qu'on 
auquel on fait face le, la délégation d'Arabie Saoudite lors de la, de la rédaction de ce critère-là, euh, afin de voir un peu comment euh, nous pourrions, puissions tirer euh, avantage de, de leur expérience. Et euh, deuxièmement, j'ai lu que euh, dans, dans, le, dans la présentation qui a été faite de l'ELEMA, euh, il, euh, il, il y avait l'utilisation de, de peintures anciennes, d'anciennes techniques d'utilisation de la peinture. Est-ce que cela a toujours cours ou, cela a, ou on est passé à de la peinture moderne Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Merci, uh, Algeria. Et la Turquie, followed by Côte d'Ivoire. I now give the floor to Turkey and, and please. Uh, Uh, let me ask uh, your speakers to pose uh, very specific questions, technical questions regarding uh, this amendment. Thank you. I now give the floor to representative of Turkey. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Uh, after we carefully examined the nomination for file Elkat Al Asir and consulted with the experts from Saudi Arabia, uh, we conclude that the elements can e easily meet the uh, R2. Uh, concerning, uh, concerning the contribution to rising the visibility of the intangible cultural heritage in general and uh, awareness of the significance, uh, significance of the elements. Uh, therefore, uh, we request uh, from committee to evaluate the, the file uh, in accordance with the amendment uh, seen on the screen. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Turkey. I will ask three speakers to pose a question and later I will give the chance to, to, to Saudi Arabia to respond to specific questions posed by our committee members. So now I give the floor to distinguished delegate of Côte d'Ivoire. Merci Monsieur le Président. Euh, après l'analyse du dossier, la Côte d'Ivoire a constaté que euh, les critères suivants sont satisfaits, le critère R5, le critère R4 et le critère R3. Et ceci est confirmé par ce que les experts ont dit tout à l'heure. Euh, J'aimerais, Monsieur le Président, avec votre permission, que le comité puisse permettre à la délégation d'Arabie Saoudite de s'expliquer euh, pour, pour euh, nous faire comprendre comment l'élément concourt-il à la visibilité du patrimoine culturel immatériel c'est-à-dire comment il pourrait satisfaire le critère R2. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Cote d'Ivoire. I now give the floor to submitting state of Saudi Arabia and just give a very specific answer to the questions posed by. Uh, yeah, in particular, your question posed by Algeria. Thank you. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Donc, comme euh, d'abord, je, je vous remercie. Je remercie les membres du comité, les membres de le, du comité de l'évaluation, et je, je passe la parole à notre expert. Merci, Monsieur. Uh, thank you, Ambassador of Saudi Arabia. On my list, Senegal, Cyprus, Hungary, and Ethiopia. Yeah, just so. Just like a previous case, uh, after uh, Ambassador Mounier. No, uh, excuse me, Monsieur. Sorry, Mr. Chair. Actually, the Ambassador of Saudi Arabia requested your permission to give the floor to their expert, and we didn't hear their expert answering the questions. Please, thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, it's very relevant. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, we can yeah, give the uh, chance uh, for experts of Sa Saudi Arabia to yeah, answer to the questions. Okay, regarding the question that came from Algeria, first of all, the difficulties that faced uh, this nomination file in terms of R2 is uh, many, uh, many procedures in raising the visibility of the element on a national and international level weren't currently available uh, uh, during the, the presentation of the nomination file. Yet throughout this year, since the date that we presented the file and now, a lot of uh, efforts have been uh, done by the community 
to uh, raise the visibility on different levels. Like, for example, uh, there has been a painting that was displayed in the United Nations uh, by 23 ladies that is 18 meters long. And this painting is now on tour uh, throughout the United States, and it's on display at the American National Museum in Detroit. Another example is uh, an artist called Jamira Mater, and she has uh, conducted a few workshops in the United States. One of them was in the College of Nazarta in New York to raise the visibility of cu cultural craftsmanship among young students. Uh, regarding the second question that, uh, that was asked from Algeria about uh, using modern techniques or old painting, uh, from our experience in Asir, we have found that both, uh, both techniques are still, uh, still apply. Uh, people still use uh, old techniques using old material, and people also use the modern paint and uh, techniques. Uh, as regarding to the question that was uh, told by uh, Kwati Diva, uh, the efforts that are showed by the practitioners uh, of Al-Ghat are uh, the efforts shown by the practitioners of our, of our gut are committed to raising visibility of intangible cultural heritage worldwide through their art. Al Gut is an artistic message who knows, which knows no border. As tourists have been able to learn, practice the techniques of Al Gut when visiting the women of Asir. The element has also had a large impact on artists around the world, including local ones. Many international visiting artists have been inspired by Al Gut and implementing its techniques within their art, hence raising the awareness to an ancient tradition worldwide. The inscription on the representative list will optimize the cultural value of the element, which will encourage dialogue and mutual respect among the communities by publicizing Al Gut on national and international level. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Saudi Arabia. Now, uh, Senegal, please. Merci, Monsieur le Président. En écoutant ces explications, nous sommes confortés quand même dans le fait que, effectivement, nous pensions que ce savoir-faire perpétué par les femmes, transmis également dans des groupes de solidarité aux jeunes, peut inspirer les architectes contemporains, les designers. Et effectivement, ce qu'elle vient de prouver avec cette réponse, et je pense que également ce qui a été fait aux États-Unis participe d'une manière ou d'une autre à rendre visible ce ce savoir-faire traditionnel et la visibilité est plus ou moins à ce niveau-là assez clairement exprimée. C'est vrai que l'article R2 est toujours difficile à remplir, ce n'est pas forcément des évidences concrètes comme l'inventaire ou autre, mais je pense que les explications que l'Arabie Saoudite vient de donner nous suffisent, en tout cas en ce qui concerne la délégation du Sénégal, pour plaider par rapport à l'acceptation de ce R2. Je vous remercie. Uh, thank you, Senegal. Now, Cyprus. Thank you, Mr. President. Our question has been very, very satisfactorily answered by the experts just now. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, Hungary. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> we have a very specific question that we would like to put to the sponsor of this amendment. In the first sentence, it reads, at the local, regional, and international level. We would like to ask if there is any particular region for not using the uh, taxative uh, ordering of local, national and international as it is in the nomination format. The nomination format asks about awareness, raising awareness at the local, national and international level. So it's just a matter of clarification if, I can, if we can obtain that from the sponsors or eventually from the state party itself. Thank you very much. Okay, now I first invite some meeting states in Saudi Arabia to respond to the question raised by uh, Senegal. And regarding the question raised by Hungary, I think it's a letter addressed to, to proposers. So either Saudi Arabia or proposers to respond to Hungary's question. Now Saudi Arabia. Okay, I'd like to clarify that Saudi is a very big country and we have 13 different regions. And uh, culture diversity within Saudi Arabia is very, very a broad spectrum. So al Ghat al-Asiri is specific for the region of Asir and uh, that's on the regional level. And also some other uh, 
other entities, organizations, and communities not located in Asir have, have taken special interest in Al Ghath and implementing it as a local traditional design of Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Saudi Arabia. Uh, I recognize the uh, Ambassador Munir of Palestine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I think that we did the round of uh, this criteria, and uh, my colleagues before me explained that this criteria is uh, very complex. And uh, during the working of the uh, working group that you chaired, uh, remember that we talked about this uh, criteria, and we talked about revising the criteria, especially uh, R2. Well, uh, I agree with the, our colleague from uh, from Hungary. Uh, indeed, the, the, the use of regional is not in the texts of, uh, of the convention. Usually we use uh, national and international, and we have no problem to amend it and to put at the local, national, and international level if this may address the concern of our colleague from Hungary. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Palestine. Now I give the floor to Ethiopia. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we believe that uh, Al Qaeda is indeed one of the leading heritage teams in Saudi Arabia, and it has cast, uh, as you know, the attention of many groups and NGOs. So this shows that it is already it, it already have visibility, and therefore will contribute to raising the visibility of intangible cultural heritage and to dialogue and mutual respect among communities. Therefore, we would like to co-sponsor the amendment. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, thank you, Ethiopia. Now Cuba, followed by Hungary. I now give the floor to Cuba. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Cuba, il veut soutenir les paragraphes. Il veut se réajouter à tous les pays qui sont soutenir ces propositions. Pour nous, c'est bien expliqué. L'information qui vient de donner les représentants de l'Arabie saoudite nous plaît. Et on pense qu'il peut donner quelques visibilités à ces conventions. Et pour nous, c'est clair. Merci. Thank you, Cuba. Now, Hungary. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is just to indicate that we are satisfied and happy with the amendment proposed by um, Palestine. We could also go along inserting regional as well, based on the uh, answer given by the state party, if, uh, if that meets the specific situation of the state party. But what certainly has to be there is local, national, international. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Now, Colombia. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We agree with the amendment as it is now, so we just want to support this amendment as it is. Thank you. So, Congo. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Euh, avec l'amendement qui a été présenté euh, sur le tableau, je, nous pensons qu'il faut accorder la chance à ce dossier-là euh, pour qu'il puisse être inscrit. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Now, India. Thank you, Chair. We also support the inscription of this file. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I believe we are ready to move to the uh, adoption of decision para by para. <coughs> Can we consider para one adopted? Adopted. Para two, no amendment. Oh, oh, so R, R1. Para 2, R1. I see 
no objection adopted r2 amended by several delegations i see no objection r2 is adopted criterion r3 no amendment is adopted r4 seeing no objection adopted r5 no objection is adopted That's the end. So, okay. Can we then adopt the decision as a whole, as, as amended? Can we adopt paragraph two as a whole? No, there is a para three. Yeah, we have to go para three first. Okay. Yeah, 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 all right, all right. Can we uh, adopt the para two as a whole, as amended? I see no objection, so para 2 as a whole is adopted. Para 3, amendment proposed by Palestine, Lebanon, Algeria, Cyprus, Philippines, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Bulgaria, Afghanistan, Turkey. I see no objection is adopted. New, uh, para 4 is the original form, original formulation. I see no objection. Para 4 adopted. Para 5 amendment proposed by Palestine, Lebanon, Algeria, Cyprus, Philippines, Senegal, Cote d'Ivoire, Bulgaria, Afghanistan, Turkey. Are there any objections on Para 5? Seeing none, it's adopted. Mm. Can we then adopt the decision as a whole, as amended? I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 12.com, 11.b, 27, adopted as amended. Congratulations. Now, floor is yours for two minutes. Shukran lakum, Sayyid al-Rais. Tu'arib al-Mamlakat al-Arabiyyat al-Saudiyya an shukriha wa taqdeerha li abahaya al-taqeem wa ila al-duwal al-ahbaa fi lajna al-turat thaqafi ghayri al-maddi li qarari tasjil fan al-qad ala qaimat al-UNESCO li al-turat thaqafi ghayri al-maddi. إن هذا التسجيل سوف يساهم في المحافظة على هوية هذا التراث الثقافي وتعزيز رسالته الحضارية التي تعود إلى مئات السنين حيث تقاطعت على أرضه حضارات وثقافات تعود في أصلها إلى الجزيرة العرب إن فن القط الجداري الذي تأثر بتفاصيل الحياة الاجتماعية وأثر فيها بوصفه رمزا من رموز التقاليد الثقافية لدى المجتمع العسيري جنوب المملكة العربية السعودية والمملكة العربية السعودية تؤكد على دورها في حماية التراث والمحافظة عليه والاستمرار في تعزيز القيم التي تدعو إليها منظمة اليونسكو في المحافظة على التراث الثقافي غير المادي شكرا لكم سيد الرئيس وشكرا لأعضاء اللجنة في التراث الثقافي غير المادي شكرا Well, thank you. Congratulations once again. We will now move to the examination of the nomination. Oh, okay, video. Elgat, 
is considered a decorative wall art that beautifies the interior of houses. While Assyrian men built the exterior, the lady of the house contributes by decorating the interior. The art of al -Ghat also has a therapeutic effect on the artist, as it gives her comfort and serenity while beautifying her own place. According to an ancient legend known to the locals in the mountains of Asir, little girls were playing around trees with beautiful flowers, while the color reflected upon their eyes, turning them into different shades. Falling in love with the effect, they placed the flowers in glasses of water. The next day, the color of the water changed, and they decided to use it to make the walls of their house colorful. Since then, an art called al god was born. <laughs> Now once again, I congratulations. We will now move to the examination of the nomination. Kochari traditional group dance submitted by Armenia. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of the EB so that he can share with us the findings of the body on these nominations. Uh, Mr. Skunti. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Koshari is a traditional dance that is widely performed during holidays, festive celebrations, and family ceremonies. It is open to all participants and provides a sense of shared identity, solidarity, and mutual respect. Non-formal transmission occurs within families and from, from older to younger people, while methods of formal transmission include educational programs in youth art centers, regular dance classes held in and institutional initiatives. Experienced practitioners play a key role in efforts to safeguard the element and ensure its viability. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1, Kochari possesses a symbolic and social and creative meaning in the Armenian society, as well as in the diaspora. It is actively transmitted using both in non-formal and formal methods. Kochari contributes to intergenerational relationships and the socialization of youth and conveys messages about historical memory and ancestral traditions. R2, the element evokes a sense of solidarity among numerous practitioners, thereby widening the platform of cultural dialogue. Apart from Armenians themselves, various ethnic communities and minorities practice the element, which thereby ensures respect for cultural di diversity. R3, the state party has developed safeguarding measures undertaken by the communities, groups, and individuals concerned to protect and promote the element. These measures have been proposed by the bearer communities themselves, traditional song and dance ensembles, and individual practitioners. R4, the state party has demonstrated the participation of various stakeholders in the nomination process, such as individual bearers, practitioners, non-governmental organizations, and authorities. R5, the element has been included in Armenia's list of intangible cultural heritage since 2010, maintained and updated by the Ministry of Culture with the full participation of the local communities. 
an extract of the inventory is enclosed. The evaluation body recommends to inscribe koshari, traditional group dance, on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. The committee may commend the state party for the improved file following the referral of the nomination in 2015. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, Mr. President, for the detailed explanation of the different issues raised during the evaluation of this file. Okay, before going further, is the Chair's intention to suspend the meeting just a couple of minutes for a final touch among parties interested? Okay. Maximum five minutes. Don't leave the room, please.
Uh, dear delegates, I have to restart. You have uh, one minute. Okay, maximum two minutes is my last call. Thank you so much, uh, dear colleagues and dear delegates. The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole. Please put draft decision on screens. Hmm? Uh, Zambia, you want to speak? Uh, yes, Chairman. Uh, uh, there, there's something I thought maybe we should just say, correct, if I, uh, in ARA 2. I'm sorry I didn't bring that to the attention of the, uh, the Secretary. It's just a small uh, ARA 2. Um, yeah, a platform of cultural dialogue, apart from Armenians themselves, various ethnic communities and minorities practice the element. I, I don't know whether it will make much of a difference if we say, it, apart from Armenians themselves, uh, various ethnic communities in neighboring countries practice the element, which thereby ensures respect for, I don't know. Because I don't know what we mean by uh, various ethnic communities, because we have already said Armenians. Now, who else apart from the Armenians? That means communities that are outside Armenia. And then in addition to that, who are the minorities? So we are better off just saying, in my opinion anyway, communities in neighboring countries. I don't know what everyone thinks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you, Zambia. Uh, but uh, this file, yeah, it's uh, with the uh, time and the long heated debate, we have uh, arrived at a conclusion. So it's my wish, Chair's intention, uh, without any debate, without any amendment, uh, I'd like to adopt as it is, if Zambia permits me. Thank you. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt the draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole? I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 12.com 11.b.2 adopted. <laughs> Congratulations, Armenia. The floor is yours. The floor is yours for two minutes. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président, chers collègues, Mesdames et Messieurs. Monsieur le Président, la délégation d'Arménie vous félicite pour l'excellente conduite des débats. Nous remercions également les autorités coréennes, le secrétariat, pour la magnifique organisation des travaux, de l'accueil chaleureux, préparation et suivi du comité. Nous remercions également les membres du comité, l'évaluation body, les responsables à l'UNESCO, le ministère de la Culture d'Arménie, la Commission nationale d'Arménie auprès de l'UNESCO, l'Institut national d'archéologie et d'ethnographie de l'Académie des sciences, ainsi qu'une grande communauté de danseurs de Corée 
Kocari, un Arménien en diaspora, pour l'inscription du Kocari dans ce collectif traditionnel. Un élément indispensable de l'identité arménienne sur la liste représentative du patrimoine immatériel. Kochari Avandakan Khambapar. C'est comme ça, ça sonne le nom euh, de la nomination en arménien. C'est notre cinquième élément inscrit sur la liste. Après le doudouk en et sa musique en 2008, l'art de croix de pierre arménien Khachkar symbolisme savoir des pierres, pardon, en 2010, et l'interprétation de l'épopée arménienne et les enragés de Sasson ou David de Sasson en 2012, le lavage, préparation, signification et aspect du pain traditionnel en tant qu'expression culturelle en arménien en 2014. Euh, Malheureusement, certaines délégations ne s'orientent pas pour la sauvegarde du patrimoine culturel, mais je présente, mais, euh, présente ici leur intérêt national pour politiser la culture, mais j'espère que ce débat a bien fini. Je remercie tout le monde, chaleureusement, tous les pays qui ont pris part à un très bon dialogue culturel, et je vous invite de regarder le petit film d'une minute un peu plus que je vous ai transmis. Merci. Congratulations once again, Armenia. We will now move to the examination of the nomination, uh, dolma making and the sharing tradition, a marker of cultural identity, submitted by Azerbaijan. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of the EB so that he can share with us the findings of the body on these nominations. Mr. Chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The dolma tradition relates to the preparation of the traditional meal dolma, which consists of small fillings wrapped in fresh or pre-cooked leaves or stuffed in fruits and vegetables. The meal is enjoyed on special occasions and gatherings within families and local communities. The practice expresses solidarity, respect, and hospitality. Communities are actively involved in safeguarding its viability through awareness raising activities, and it is transmitted primarily within families and vocational and apprenticeship schools. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of, intangible, of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1, the dolma is perceived as a central culinary practice by the communities concerned. It is practiced and transmitted both by individuals and collectively by women preparing the meal during a huge range of cultural and social activities. R2, the inscription of the Dolma tradition would contribute to fostering dialogue between community builders from different backgrounds. It would also promote respect 
for cultural diversity and human creativity in a multi-ethnic context and raise awareness about nutritional values of traditional culinary practices. R3, the viability of the element is safeguarded by the communities, groups, individuals, and authorities concerned through awareness raising events, publications aimed at enhancing the promotion of dolma making and its social and cultural functions within society, capacity building sessions, and the organization of dolma festivals. R4, initiated by Azerbaijan Culinary Association, the communities concerned, the non-governmental organization Simurg, local municipality representatives, and the number of individual dolma builders and practitioners actively participated in all stages of the preparation of the nomination file and signed letters of consent. R5, R5 the element was included in Azerbaijan's register of the intangible cultural heritage in 2010, established by the Ministry of Culture and Tourism and updated every three years. The enclosed extract provides information on the element. The evaluation body recommends to the co that the committee inscribe dolma making and sharing tradition, a marker of cultural identity, on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. The committee may invite the state party to ensure access to the knowledge, practice, and transmission of the element for all, regardless of their gender and social affiliations, and encourage it to ensure the broad participation of the communities concerned in the safeguarding measures. The committee may also encourage the state party to share safeguarding experiences with other state par states parties with similar elements. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairperson, for your very kind introduction and very detailed uh, explanation about this nomination file. The Bureau did not receive any amendment for this file, and uh, it's my wish wish of chairperson not to open the debate. But before adopting draft decision, I'd like to give a floor to Armenia. And please be, try to be as brief as possible. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. I couldn't have been briefer. Uh, just one sentence. Armenia cannot agree to this draft decision as a whole or uh, to any of its paragraphs. We are against the adoption of this draft decision and therefore Armenia dissociates itself from this decision and requests that this statement be reflected in the summary records. Thank you. Okay, thank you Armenia. Yeah, your point will be duly reflected yeah, in a summary record. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt the draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole? Scroll down. Scroll. One, two, para, three, four. Okay. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 12.com 11.b.3 adopted. <laughs> Congratulations, Azerbaijan. The floor is yours. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before, before giving the floor to Azerbaijan, I'd like to give the floor first to, to Armenia. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Sorry for taking the floor for a second time. Uh, but uh, I would like to reflect a few thoughts on, the, uh, on this nomination file and uh, the draft decision that was adopted based on the file. Uh, it is a very interesting nomination file. 
which could have served to creation of uh, cultural, uh, bridge, to establishing bridges of culture in the region, because the element is really shared in the widest possible region of the uh, Middle East, uh, Caucasus, Mediterranean. Unfortunately, we have dissociated ourselves from this draft decision because the nomination file contains several elements which are unacceptable to us, and I would like to briefly uh, enumerate them. Uh, we cannot accept a nomination file which is prepared by uh, an NGO which is famous for its anti-Armenian, anti-Christian hate speech and xenophobic uh, statements reflected in their publications, reflected in their med media statements, uh, statements that are creating uh, antagonism and hate speech towards everything Armenian, towards everything Christian in the region. Uh, the uh, mentioning of Azerbaijani Culinary Association uh, is a slap on the face of this committee and uh, of the humanity. Uh, another uh, problem that I see is uh, trying to explain the name of Dolma with uh, uh, explanations of Turkic language because any language can bring its own explanations to a uh, name. Uh, but the explanations that we are finding on page four of the nomination file uh, are even worse than we can find on the pages of Wikipedia, which gives much better explanation, much better uh, much wider uh, explaining of the dish of do, uh, dolma. But uh, most importantly and surprisingly, uh, the nomination file makes, makes references to different regions of Azerbaijan, which uh, some two months ago, the president of Azerbaijan was stating at the General Assembly in New York that are beyond the control of Azerbaijani government and they have no, uh, absolutely no control over those regions. It is very surprising, therefore, how these regions have participated in the preparation of this nomination file, how, these, uh, uh, how practitioners from these regions have participated in the file, and despite their mentioning, uh, there are absolutely no letters of consent from these communities. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Mm, thank you, Armenia. And congratulations, submitting state of Azerbaijan. The floor is yours for, as usual, for two minutes of you know, congratulations and two more minutes if you have any uh, statement. Azerbaijan, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In fact, after this speech, I'm, I'm speechless, but I will try to respond. And, but before the responding this, uh, I would like to first of all congratulate you and your government for the excellent organization of this session and wish every success to you. Dear committee members, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government of Azerbaijan, let me thank the committee for its decision to inscribe dolma making and sharing tradition, a marker of cultural identity onto the representative list. We also commend the evaluation body for having carefully examined the file and recommended inscription of this element. Dolma making and sharing is a highly widespread practice that bears in itself the cultural values and the identity of Azerbaijani communities. The element represents a wealth of traditions very diverse in themselves. This inscription has been the result of hard work and cooperation of an excellent team of experts that coordinated the preparation of the file. Originated from the shortened Turkic word doldurmak, which means stuffed, dolma making and sharing serves as a marker of hospitality, conviviality, friendliness within and among communities, and the result of centuries old people's creativity. Dolma tradition has transformed into the, one of the symbols of Azerbaijani intangible heritage and serves as a strong marker of cultural belonging. We are grateful to everybody who extended support to the preparation of this file, and this inscription is a tribute to the safeguarding of intangible heritage and the implementation of 2003 convention in our country. It will also raise awareness about the diversity of Dolma 
culture in and among Azerbaijani communities living in urban and rural areas. Now, Mr. Chairman, I would like to turn to the intervention made before me. First of all, we have to agree uh, with, with you and with the mediators uh, that we are not going to raise our concerns during the consideration of the Kochari file, although we have several serious concerns with their nomination, namely the recognition of the regional context. The reason why we didn't do so is with respect to the, uh, the recommendation of the evaluation body, and we didn't want to contaminate this committee with the political problems. When it comes to intervention, I feel myself obliged to react to this. Uh, in our view, this intervention raises at least three important questions for us and for them. And first question is the competence. If in the preceding years they limit their amendments to the title and the draft decisions, let alone that this was done against national and multinational nominations from Azerbaijan, recommended for inscription by evaluation body, and in some cases considered by experts as an exemplary nominations, this time they went too far, questioning and trying to amend the nomination text itself. This is not only a violation of existing legal procedures and the adopted methodology, but it, when it comes to the content of this amendment, it is also a violation of the spirit and the principles of 2003 Convention. It's about inclusiveness and cooperation. They refer to Karabakh and its community to be removed from the nomination text. Let me be very clear on this. The territorial integrity of Azerbaijan cannot be a subject discussions of whatsoever. There are four UN Security Council resolutions on this matter. And if someone has doubts about this, I would advise them to carefully, Mr. Chairman, point of order. To carefully look at this issue. To point carefully order, look at these resolutions. When it comes to the community of Karabakh, I am myself from Karabakh. Mr. Chairperson, there is a point of order here. Mr. Chairperson, Mr. Chairperson, if you allow me to continue, or, or that they're already. hijacking this uh, Please, committee. please. Uh, I gave uh, one minute extra, one minute to Armenia. So please uh, finish but within 30 seconds. Mr. Chairman, I myself, when it comes to Karabakh community, I myself from Karabakh. I, I cannot visit uh, the, my homeland because it is occupied and ethnically cleansed by Armenians. I cannot visit the graves of my grandparents because they are all destroyed. And now what they are trying to do is to deprive me of to practice my traditions in my country. No. Mr. Chairperson, I cannot allow this kind of politicized this... statement in the committee. This is why I was speaking, and this is exactly why uh, Azerbaijan is using this yeah, kind of please language. Just cut off, this uh, is post, why we were yeah, against using the of this kind of language in the UNESCO texts, because this is being done by Azerbaijan on purpose to jeopardize the work of the committee, to abuse the work of the committee, to bring the Security Council and United Nations language please, here, uh, which is unacceptable. Mm. And I would request you to stop this stop. statement. Mr. Sure. Chairman, if you allow me to continue, because they took all my time to, to speak. Uh, no, please, uh, please Because calm they, down. They, they, they spoke in a breach of our agreement. You gave them the floor, and I, I didn't interrupt them. Now it's my turn, and I would kindly ask them to abide to the common sense and the culture. Okay, thank you, if Mr. If you Ambassador. allow me to continue, Mr. Chairman, I, I gave didn't... you five minutes, thank and you very I much. gave Armenia three minutes, so I think on an equal footing, this I'm is very balanced. This Please is stop here. This is unacceptable that they are intervening and interrupting my statement, okay. while I didn't do the same when they spoke. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, I would like to say that, unfortunately, that uh, it is the, another evidence that Armenia misusing its 
membership in this committee and bringing the politically biased... Okay, thank you. It is regretful. It is regretful. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Anah. Mr. Yeah. Uh, please, calm down. Yes, this I feel finished. It... Uh, please. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, the, uh, both Armenia, Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan, yeah, Armenia, for showing us your sense of some compromise and the dialogue and the cooperation. And we are Intangible Cultural Heritage Forum. It's not appropriate forum, even that Nagorno Karabakh is a little delicate and a provo provocative issue. Cannot be resolved. Even at the United Nations Security Council, the primary organ Mr. Chairman, to maintain. Please. Mr. Chairman. Please. Please. Mr. Chairman. Please. It's not the right forum, so please stop here. And Mr. congratulations. Azerbaijan and Armenia, please stop here. And here it, is another it, it is not yeah, Security Council, it's another Minsk group. Please stop here and congratulations for the inscription of Azerbaijani nomination files. Uh, thank you. Yeah, before proceeding to Bangladeshi nomination file. I'm very thankful to Secretaria and to Ambassador. It's not acceptable. You cannot come here, you please. You cannot comment on the Nagorno Karabakh here because it's not the priority of the chair. I am very thankful to uh, Ambassador of the Philippines and some other ambassadors who have successfully. Yeah, play the role of facilitator. Yeah, so without their yeah, tireless efforts, we cannot yeah, find out this some kind of compromise formulation. Thank you so much. We will now move to the examination of the nomination. Traditional art of Shital Party weaving of Shil Hat, submitted by Bangladesh. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of the evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Uh, Mr. Chairperson, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Shital Pati is the traditional art of making a handcrafted mat by weaving together strips of a green cane known as Morta. It is used by people all over Bangladesh as a sitting mat, bedspread, or prayer mat. Shitalpati is a major source of livelihood that reinforces family bonding and empowers communities. The craft is primarily transmitted from generation to generation within the family and Shitalpati communities are increasingly being organized in cooperatives to ensure its effective safeguarding and transmission. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1, the weaving of mats constitutes an element of intangible cultural heritage practiced and transmitted by several communities in Bangladesh. The mats feature motifs such as natural and religious symbols and hold a strongly recognized, re recognizable value for the communities concerned. R2, the inscription of the element would increase the visibility of the role of traditional knowledge and craftsmanship in contemporary world, in contemporary society. The design and motifs of Shitalpati have influenced many other types of mats and kilts, thereby testifying to its impact on human creativity. R3, the safeguarding measures described include research, inventorying, documentation, promotion, and awareness raising activities, as well as following up 
on the impact of the possible inscription on the element. The government and the communities are committed to ensure the viability of the element. R4, the preparation of the nomination was organized by the Ministry of Culture and involved the widest possible participation of the communities concerned, as well as experts and non-governmental organizations. R5, in 2007, Shital Pati was included in an inventory maintained and updated by the Intangible Cultural Heritage National Committee. The evaluation body recommends to inscribe traditional art of Shitalpati weaving of Silet on the representative list of the Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity. The committee may encourage the state party to monitor the impacts of the increased visibility of the element as well as to mitigate any adverse impacts relating to its commercialization. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, Mr. Scotti, for this very detailed explanation about the evaluation of this file. Before proceeding, I'd like to give floor to Secretary. Uh, The Bureau did not receive any request for debate or amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt the draft decision on this file as shown on the screen as a whole? Okay, now I give the floor to our secretary to make us some comment. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Um, I'd just like to point out uh, a small error, uh, very factual and very minor, um, but nevertheless, we want the decision to be correct. Uh, under R5, uh, it says uh, in the draft decision, Shital Pati was included in an inventory under the section of living tradition in the seventh volume. However, indeed, as was stated in uh, the file and pointed, us, pointed out to us by the submitting state, it is the 11th volume and not the 7th volume. Thank you. Okay, with a slight technical cosmetic change on R5. Any objections? I see none. I therefore declare decision 12.com 11.B.4 adopted. <laughs> Congratulations, Bangladesh. The floor is yours for two minutes. Mr. Chairperson, thank you for giving me the floor. It is indeed a moment of joy and pride for me and other members of Bangladesh delegation. On behalf of the Government of Bangladesh, I would like to express our sincere thanks and gratitude to all members of the committee for inscribing our nominate element title, The Traditional Art of Shital Party Weaving of Silet in the representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Our special thanks to all the distinguished experts of the evaluation body and ICS Secretariat who have put sincere efforts in this regard. You are aware Shital Pati is a woven mat made out of green cane. This product involves the traditional techniques and intricate process of procuring the cane strips and dyeing them has been handed down through generation by local artisans called Patial. Their craftsmanship is fully compatible with the principles of conservation of biodiversity and sustainable development. I would like to inform you that the Shital Pati or Kul Mat earns its name from the cold comfort it offers in the tropical weather of Bangladesh. Its quality is judged by its glossiness, smoothness, and fineness of texture. A fine Shital Pati, legend has it, is so smooth that even a snake cannot glide over it. The inscription of the element will not only encourage its bearers 
and practitioners to ensure validity of the element, but would also raise awareness of intangible cultural heritage in general and strengthen its safeguarding. We are very much thankful to the Republic of Korea for hosting this 12th session of the Intergovernmental Committee in this beautiful island of Jeju. We are convinced that this ceremony constitutes a milestone in the history of efforts to promote the world heritage, for it very clearly signifies recognition of the specific contribution of the intangible cultural heritage to the essential task of preserving cultural diversity. I would also please to inform you that here we have two local Sheetal Party master weavers with us who are participating in this session as a part of Bangladesh delegation. Now, I will introduce them with you. They are standing before you in the right side of the stage. Uh, one Mr. Gitesh Chandra Dash and one Mr. Harendra Kumar Dash. They will carry, uh, uh, they are displaying a Sheetal Party to demonstrate its fineness and their high craftsmanship. I hope the audience will enjoy the demonstration for a while. Thank you all for patient sharing. Thank you. Sharp machetes are used to pull out the strings from the stalks of murta plants. These strings are known as sholoi or beti. To smoothen the rough edges of the sholoi and give them a shiny texture, a mixture made out of boiled rice, juice, hock plum and buali lota is applied. The sholois are then dried in the sun before being washed off their residues. They are dried in the sun for a second time in order to get the white shitolpati strings. These strings are then boiled in liquid dye to get the desired color of strings. ঠাকুর দাদাই করছে তার ছেলে করছে আবার আমরা করতেছি আমাগো ছেলে এটা শিখছে এই গ্রামে আমাদের পার্টি শিল্পের লোক আছে প্রায় 15 16 শো ঘর তারও বেশি এটা বংশ পরম্পরায় এই ব্যবসা আমাদের একটা পার্টি তৈরি করতে যে কাসামাল লাগে তার দাম হলো 300 টাকা নকশা কারুকার্য যত বেশি তত পার্টির দাম বেশি একটা পার্টি 4 এর থেকে 500 টাকা আছে আবার একটা পার্টি 3000 টাকা আছে Congratulations once again, Bangladesh. Now let's take up Bolivia ritual journeys in La Paz during Alasita, submitted by Bolivia. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of EB so that he can share with us the findings of the body on these nominations. Uh, Mr. Skundi. Thank you, Mr. Chair. During the ritual journeys of, in La Paz, during Alasita, participants procure good luck miniatures associated with Ekeko, the city's beneficent god of fertility. This is followed by their consecration with Indian ritualists or their blessing by the Catholic Church. The practice promotes social cohesion and intergenerational transmission. Alasita rituals are primarily transmitted naturally within the family and the efforts to safeguard the practice primarily by civil society have been continuous. Museum exhibitions have increased awareness of the practice and municipal contests encourage the production of the miniatures. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription 
on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. As for R1, the Alasita celebration includes ritual and social and commercial activities. The practice is embraced by the population of La Paz and constitutes a propitious opportunity to renew hopes of well-being and prosperity, family unity, and union with friends and city inhabitants. R2, the Alasita contributes to the visibility of traditions that facilitate social dialogue. Participants engage in different forms of exchange. The element further represents a syncretism of magic and religious beliefs and contributes to the sense of human creativity. R3, the safeguarding measures were developed together with the communities concerned and include documentation and research, creation of educational tools, strengthening of Alasita competitions, disseminating information, using new technologies. The safeguarding measures proposed also include the establishment of a museum of Alasita in La Paz. R4, different stakeholders and communities, institutions, groups, and individuals concerned cooperated to the preparation of the file in close coordination with the promotion committee. Informed consent was acquired through a campaign requesting inhabitants of La Paz to show their support. R5, the Alasita inventory was drawn up between 2013 and 2015 by the Intangible Heritage Unit of the Ministry of Cultures and Tourism with the participation of the communities and related groups as well as other stakeholders. It is updated accordingly following each new event dedicated to Alasita tradition. The evaluation body recommends to inscribe ritual journeys in La Paz during Alasita on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairperson, for your kind introduction of this file. And uh, just like a previous file, we didn't receive any amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt the draft decision on this file as shown on the screen as a whole? Just this scroll down. Okay, there is a no amendment. I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 12.com 11.b.5 adopted. Congratulations, uh, uh, Bolivia. And now I recognize the honorable presence of Minister of Bolivia. The floor is yours for two minutes. Mr. Minister, you have the floor. Monsieur le Président, la Bolivie tient à remercier à la Corée comme pays hôte au comité et à l'organe d'évaluation pour permettre l'inscription de cette expression culturelle très chère à notre peuple. Si la Bolivie se réjouit de l'inscription, ce doit à qui est fait un élément, un élément constitutif de notre identité qui prend la manufacture qui prend au sérieux le fait de rêver à grande échelle à partir de la manufacture des miniatures de la bonne fortune, tout en croyant que les désirs profonds se font en réalité un jour ou l'autre. La société civile de la Paz a fait son meilleur effort pour sauvegarder la tradition de la lacite, même dans les moments les plus durs de notre vie politique qui interdisent la liberté d'expression. Les Boliviens croient à la, la CITA comme un exemple 
comme un espace pour développer de multiples formes de dialogue social et la coexistence active de plusieurs religions. Merci beaucoup. Queridos hermanos y hermanas, en nombre mío como Ministra de Culturas y Turismo y en nombre de nuestro hermano presidente Evo Morales Saima del Estado Plurinacional de Bolivia, les hacemos llegar un saludo fraternal y con absoluto respeto a los 180 representantes de los países del mundo que conforman la Organización de las Naciones Unidas para la Ciencia y la Cultura UNESCO. Queremos compartir en esta oportunidad esta satisfacción, alegría y orgullo que sentimos los y las bolivianas tras conocer el fallo del Comité Intergubernamental para que una de nuestras tradiciones tan arraigadas en nuestro país como es la alacita, ahora sea parte de la lista representativa del patrimonio cultural inmaterial de la humanidad. El 24 de enero, al mediodía, Toda la gente sale a las calles, a los principales lugares para adquirir sus sueños, sus principales deseos para el vivir bien, ya sean alimentos, un bien material o todo lo que un ser humano pueda necesitar. Y todo esto bendecido tanto en la iglesia como también por nuestros amautas, nuestros sabios de nuestras culturas milenarias. Es un momento de integración porque para nosotros la cultura es el eje transversal del desarrollo de toda sociedad. En tanto y en cuanto nosotros preservemos y salvaguardemos nuestra identidad, nuestras culturas, sabremos que podremos trascender en el tiempo. Por eso va nuestro agradecimiento y nuestra invitación para celebrar juntos nuestras tradiciones. Muchísimas gracias, será hasta siempre. Okay, congratulations once again. We will now move to the examination of the... The minister needs the floor. There's a minister. No, here. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. okay. We will now move to the examination of the nominations. Conchic wood carving submitted by Bosnia and Herzegovina. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of EB so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination file. 
Mr. Chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Konjik wood carving is an artistic craft with a long tradition in the Konjik municipality. The wood carving, which include furniture, sophisticated interiors, and small decorative objects, stand out for their recognizable hand-carved motifs and overall, overall visual identity. The craft is a key part of the local community's culture that forges a sense of community and belonging. It is primarily transmitted intergenerationally within the family and through on-the-job training in family-run wood carving workshops, which train apprentice wood carvers and help popularize the craft. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1, Konjik wood carving serves a social function by reinforcing the cultural identity of the communities concerned, providing them with a sense of continuity and belonging and even serving as a catalyst of social cohesion. It is powerful symbol of traditional interior design in both public and private spaces. R2, the inscription of the element would contribute to the reinstatement of traditional crafts as a socially inclusive and viable economic sector. It would also serve as a testimony that the practice of heritage traditions based on collaboration between different generations, genders, ethnic groups, and religions would encourage the communities to safeguard their intangible cultural heritage. R3, to ensure the viability of the element, representatives of kanji woodcarvers have undertaken and planned various activities such as research, documentation, and seminars on the craft, novice training, the introduction of the element into school curricula, the recruitment of professional designers for workshops, the design of tourist brochures, among others. R4, the bearers of the element have participate, participated in preparing the nomination of the element at all stages paying attention to the role of gender in collaboration with various non-governmental organizations, business actors, museums, institutions of higher education, and local, cantonal, and federal governments who gave their free, prior, and informed, informed consent to the nomination. R5, Konjik wood carving was included in the preliminary open list of intangible cultural heritage in 2012 by the Federal Minister, Ministry of Culture and Sports with the participation of a large number of local bearers, inheritors, and various stakeholders. The inventory was last updated in 2016. The evaluation body recommends to inscribe Konjik wood carving on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. The committee may commend the state party for the improved file following the referral of this nomination in 2015. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Skunti. And there's no amendment for this file. May I therefore ask the committee to adopt draft decision on this file as shown on the screens as a whole? Seeing no objection, I therefore declare decision 12.com11.b.6 adopted. <laughs> Congratulations. Now the floor is yours for two minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairperson. 
First of all, uh, thank you to your government and to you personally for organizing this very important event, uh, UNESCO, UNESCO conference. And uh, also, uh, thank you very much for Chair Person of the evaluation body for his uh, detailed, uh, detailed descri described to describe uh, uh, importance and quality of the, uh, of the arts craft, uh, so-called uh, wood carving. Uh, I would not like to repeat uh, words by, by chairperson of evaluation body, uh, but uh, I would like to stress a very, uh, very important uh, fact that uh, this, this uh, craft, uh, Wood carving, wood carving, konitz wood, wood carving uh, uh, has a very important, crucial, crucial importance in Bosnia and Herzegovina. That is uh, post-conflict reconciliation. Uh, probably a majority of you know what does it mean for Bosnia and Herzegovina, for my country, and on that way. And now the people have chance to see each other after a long time to rest, restart of this, of this craft, to restart uh, their, their uh, communication and, uh, as I said, a reconciliation. That's why, once again, thank you very much all, to all of you uh, on behalf of, of my country, of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you. Okay, congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will now move to the examination of the nominations cultural practices associated to the 1st of March, submitted by Bulgaria, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, Republic of Moldova, Romania. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of evaluation body so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination. Mr. Skunti. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Cultural practices associated with the 1st of March comprise traditions to celebrate the beginning of spring. The main practice consists of wearing a red and white thread to ensure the safe, harmonious passage from winter to spring. All members of the communities concerned participate and the practice contributes to social cohesion interaction with nature, intergenerational exchange, and creativity. Transmission is spontaneous and occurs through informal learning in families, neighborhoods, and workshops, as well as through dedicated school and museum programs. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1, the element has deep roots in the beliefs and traditions of the population of the urban and rural regions across all four countries. The submitting states have indicated the social functions of the element which enhances the cohesion of the communities concerned marks the beginning of agricultural activities, serves as a psychological and magic function, and helps foster a sense of identity. R2, as the element is very popular in all of four countries, its inscription would raise public awareness of the importance of intangible cultural heritage and enrich the representative list with an element based on ancient knowledge about nature and the universe, and encourage communities in both rural and urban areas to better recognize their shared heritage. R3, the viability of the element is ensured by
by the communities, groups, and individuals concerned through its transmission and non-formal learning within families and neighbor neighborhoods, as well as through workshops and dedicated optional school programs and educational museum programs. R4, the, state, the four states parties prepared the nomination file in close collaboration and with the active participation of a wide variety of community representatives, experts, non-governmental organizations, and other relevant cultural actors. The file provides evidence of the consent of all the stakeholders involved in the nomination process. R5, the evaluation body, recognized that all four states' parties have several intangible cultural heritage inventories in which the element is included. The inventories were drawn up and are maintained by relevant ministries of, cultures, of culture sorry, and similar agencies in accordance with Articles 11 and 12 of the Convention. However, the manner in which the inventories are updated is not clearly indicated in the cases of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and the Republic of Moldova, nor is it clear how the communities are involved in the updating process. Therefore, the evaluation body recommends that the committee refer the nomination of cultural practices associated with the 1st of March to the submitting states parties Thank you, Mr. Chair. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairperson, for your very detailed explanation. This is another case of a dual system of draft decisions that we will have to examine during the present session. Pursuant to the working method presented yesterday, the committee has received written information from the submitting states concerning the questions raised by evaluation body in its recommendation. This written information will be attached for the record to the nomination file. In conformity with the Rule 22.4 of the Rules of Procedure of the Committee, I'd like to give the floor to the submitting states to provide us with the relevant information regarding the following issues. Procedures for updating the inventories involvement of the communities in the inventorying process. Allow me to remind the submitting states that its or their intervention shall be limited to address these specific issues. Concerning the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and the Republic of Moldova, the floor is yours. <clears throat> mm, the first, and dear, former, yes, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Okay. And dear chairperson and members of the committee, dear representatives of the ICH Secretariat, dear participants, regarding to the draft decision for the file cultural practices associated to the 1st of March and the remarks for criteria of R5 on behalf of Macedonian delegation, I would like to provide the committee with the following explanation on the manner of updating the ICH inventories in Macedonia with the involvement of the concerned communities. The digital character of the inventory of the cultural heritage assure permanent updates and assess for communities and all stakeholders involved in this process. Communities, bearers, and individuals involved in the nomination process regularly send to the Directorate for Protection of Cultural Heritage hard copy presentation of their activities dedicated to the safeguarding of the element. Several hundred units have been registered so far, serving as material for updating the digital inventory, and it led to full information on permanent up up updating and community involvement in these ongoing processes. We are confident that the, that the members of the committee will take into consideration the useful explanation presented by our side 
to the present session which strongly support in our opinion the decision of inscription of the element cultural practices associated to the 1st of March on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Thank you very much for your understanding and attention. Republic of Moldova. Dear Mr. Chairman, uh, dear committee members, distinguished delegates, uh, well, of course, many uh, important words has mentioned uh, uh, here about the importance of uh, this uh, nomination. I would like to refer to, to the comments and to provide some explanation regarding the inventories and uh, the involvement of uh, communities. Well, according to the uh, law on the protection of intangible cultural heritage of Moldova, Ministry of Education, Culture and Research is the, and then together with National Commission for Intangible Heritage is responsible to maintain and permanent updating of the inventory with the participation of research specialists, bearing communities and relevant NGOs in, in that field. The action to maintain the inventory implies as a legal provision of national le legislation of Republic of Moldova as a sine qua non condition the permanent updating of the inventory as a national legal obligation of the Ministry of Education, Culture and Research. In the process of inventorying that we uh, held during the last year and permanent updating were developed several types of questionnaires addressed to local administration and bearing communities at local level. Last year, the uh, national legislation has been improved by a new regulation of the government on national and lo local inventory of intangible cultural heritage, which include provision for updating of a national inventory um, on the, the basis of heritage files. Several local, uh, local seminars and meetings have been organized for improving the capacity of local communities to develop their local inventories. Having uh, as a model the national inventory for intangible heritage, local communities and, uh, and uh, uh, specialized institutions are able to take part in uh, the elaboration and update updating of uh, inventory. We are, as, as mentioned by our colleagues from, uh, from Macedonia, this explanation, we think that it will be very useful for the kind attention of uh, the committee members and uh, we strongly uh, believe that uh, our nomination could uh, be inscribed in the, in, in the representative list of intangible heritage of UNESCO. Thank you. Uh, thank you. The floor is now open to committee members. Uh, Turkey first. Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Uh, while we were participating in the uh, preparation meeting uh, of the nomination file with the Macedonia and Moldova, Moldova uh, we saw their inventory system and uh, we observed how they give the importance of the community participation of the uh, inventory process. Uh, that's why uh, we believe that the explanation uh, related to uh, criteria R5 is sufficient for the inscription of the uh, nomination file named uh, cultural practices associated to uh, first, ma first of March, uh, submitted by Bulgaria, Macedonia, Moldova, and Romania. Thank you. Thank you, Turkey. Now, Hungary, followed by Palestine, Cyprus. And so now I give the floor to Hungary. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Our delegation would like to thank the states parties, submitting states parties for the information provided, both in writing and presented orally. Um, based on the information provided, we are convinced that criteria R5 is met. So we are in favor of inscription of this element to the representative list and we would also like to very warmly commend and thank the states parties for submitting a multinational file um, of the cultural practices associated to the 1st of March. Indeed this is a, an element that is shared in the region and we think this is very important that in the context of this convention cooperation um, prevails and that shared elements are presented as much as possible in a multinational file. That's why we warmly commend them and we very, are very much in favor of inscription. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you. Now, uh, Palestine. Shukran, Sayyid al Rais. I would like to thank the countries that have participated in this council and that have been in the 
طبيعه طبيعه المطلوبه لهذه الاتفاقيه بمعنى انها تجمع العديد من الدول والعديد من المجتمعات حول عنصر هام واتفق تماما مع جاء مع ما جاء من المداخلات من قبل حيث ان الوثائق التي اوضحت الكريتيريا الخامس والمداخله التي سمعناها توفي تماما بهذا المعيار وبالتالي وفد فلسطين يدعم وبقوه ادراج هذا العنصر على اللائحه شكرا سيد الرئيس Thank you. Cyprus. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je voulais simplement faire une petite correction aux certains États partis. Il faut utiliser les noms des pays correctement. Il ne faut pas appeler Macédoine, mex république yougoslave de Macédoine. Par contre, de, de, de Yougoslavie, tout à fait. Euh, donc, par contre, je soutiens cette, euh, ce dossier. Merci. Okay, thank you, Cyprus. Now, Colombia. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We support the inscription of this element. Uh, we believe this is still very important intangible heritage of the region, and we also think we should support these regional and intergovernmental inscriptions, which bring dialogue between countries. And um, this specific element is not only alive in the region, but also we've seen how Bulgarian and people from Yugoslav and Macedonia, they bring it to wherever they go, so it's important. We uh, support the inscription. Thank you. Okay, thank you. There are so many uh, supporting uh, remarks. So is there any uh, uh, opposing views? Otherwise, just like a previous case, I'd like to register all your yeah, country names on our record. Uh, Senegal, you are expressing some of the uh, opposition, or? Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. I believe we are now ready to move to the adoption of the decision para by para. Para 1 is a no amendment adopted. We consider criterion R1 no amendment adopted. Criterion R2 no objection adopted. R3 adopted. R4 adopted. Based upon interventions from members of the committee, it seems that we are now satisfied that the information considered as missing by the evaluation body has been provided by the submitting states at the present session. Can we consider criterion R5 as proposed under the inscription option adopted? Seeing no objection is adopted. Can we? Standard, uh, standard amendment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, Chapo Para 3 is a standard form that we have agreed uh, earlier. So can we consider Para 3 as proposed under the inscription option adopted as a whole? No objection is adopted. Uh, can we uh, consider para four of the inscription option adopted? No amendment is adopted. Can we then adopt the decision as a whole as amended? I therefore declare decision 12.com 11.b7 
adopted as amended. Congratulations. Now the floor is given to submitting states. Monsieur le Président, membre du comité, la délégation de Bulgarie voudrait tout d'abord remercier l'organe d'évaluation. Nous exprimons aussi notre reconnaissance et profonde estime aux membres du comité pour les décisions positives sur l'inscription de cette nomination multinationale qui démontre l'importance des traditions partagées. Au nom de milliers de communautés et de praticiens et de détenteurs de la tradition habitant dans une vaste région géographique dans quelques pays, nous aimerions exprimer notre grande joie ainsi que la leur suite à cette inscription. En prenant cette occasion euh, de souligner la collaboration multinationale fructueuse et enrichissante avec la Moldavie, la Roumanie et l'ex-république yougoslave de Macédoine, nous voudrions maintenant leur donner la parole pour vous remercier à leur tour. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Ok, thank you, Bulgaria. Now, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. <coughs> Uh, on behalf of the Ministry of Culture of Macedonia and all partners who participated in the process of preparing multinational nomination file of the element cultural practices associated to the 1st of March, I would like to cordially thanks to all members of the committee for their understanding and accepting our explanations presented to the present session. In this regard, I would like to thank to our colleagues from Romania, Bulgaria and Moldova for excellent cooperation and high profession professionalism expressed by their, their side during long-term process of preparation and submission of our joint nomination file. The inscription of the element cultural practices associated to the 1st of March on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity for Macedonia is great honor and recognition, but also obligation more to promote, save this element, as well as to stimulate the bearers to educate the new generation for practices and share the element in their community and widely. I deeply believe that this inscription should make sufficient progress in terms of implementation and promotion of the ICH Convention in Macedonia. As a last, on behalf of Macedonian delegation, I would like to congratulate of the Republic of Korea and UNESCO for excellent organization of this intergovernmental committee. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, Republic of Moldova. Dear committee members, I uh, would like on the behalf of the Ministry of Education, Culture Research, and Research of Republic of Moldova to thank for your support and for your, for your understanding about the values of, uh, of our nomination, which is one, as mentioned, a multinational nomination file. We want to thank the evaluation body for uh, their comments and their, their view and understanding regarding this, this important element of uh, our cultural heritage. And we want to assure you that local communities and, uh, and, uh, and uh, specialists from, from, that, uh, from the intangible cultural heritage will be very pro proud about the decision. Once again, we want to thank our co um, colleagues from, uh, from Romania, Macedonia and Bulgaria for this hard work and for this uh, excellent job that we are done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, Romania. Mr. Chairperson and member of the committee, we have come again to a time when UNESCO is renewing its intangible heritage with new elements. Once again, we have come to a point when not only national, but also transnational values have come up front and claim their importance of the world's heritage map. Today it has been demonstrated that teamwork of, at both national and transnational levels represents is, a, is an essential part of the way to success. We thank all these involved in this project. With this adoption of the A and this inscription of the cultural practice associated to the first match, we are making a step forward towards a fully understanding of the safeguarding of uh, what we need to share and what we need to leave behind for the generation to come. At this point of, in time today, many things could be addressed, but primarily this needs to be expressed to the members of the committee and the state representative who fully acknowledge the importance of the outcome of this adoption. 
Therefore, on behalf of our delegation, please accept our sincere and kind thanks for your recognition. It also needed here in a plenary session to pay tribute to the efforts, understanding and dedication of the various communities involved, authority, uh, and last but not least, the Korean government and all body involved for the outstanding hospitality in hosting this important committee meeting. Thank you. No problem. No video. Okay, thank you. Once again, congratulations. We will now move to the examination of the nomination Zhaouli Popular Music and the Dance of the Guru Communities in Cote d'Ivoire, submitted by Cote d'Ivoire. I will now give the floor to the chairperson of the EB so that he can share with us the findings of the body on this nomination files. Mr. Chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Zauli is a popular music and dance practiced by the Guru communities in, of Côte d'Ivoire. Homage to feminine beauty, Zauli is inspired by two masks, the blue and the jela. The practice combines culture, weaving, music, and dance. Zauli conveys the cultural identity of its bearers and promotes social cohesion and envir environmental preservation. Transmission occurs during musical performances and learning sessions and the viability of the practice is ensured. For example, through regular performances organized by the communities, as well as inter-village dance competitions and festivals. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1, the element is a, a traditional performing art that was originally practiced on festive occasions only, but which is now also practiced during funerals. It plays an important role in education, conveys a sense of beauty, strengthens gender relationships and social integration, provides a form of entertainment and plays an environmental role. R2, the inscription of the element would promote its cultural practices and expressions and to raise an international awareness of the importance of cultural diversity and intercultural dialogue. It also would create a favorable environment for the blossoming of talents and human creativity. R3, the viability of Zauli is enhanced through the identification of talented performers and their continued learning and their experienced practitioners. The proposed safeguarding measures focus on inventory and awareness raising activities, dissemination of documents, digitization efforts, scientific meetings, and activities geared at the revitalization of handicrafts. R4, the guru communities that act as the bearers and practitioners of Zauli were fully involved in all stages of the preparation of the nomination file through their spokespersons and representatives. They expressed their free, prior, and informed consent to the nomination. R5, the evaluation body recognized that the element has been registered in the National Inventory of Cultural Heritage since 2016. The inventory is managed and regularly updated by the Ministry of Culture and Francophonie. The updating is carried out in collaboration with local communities, groups, and associations. However, the extract presented in the nomination is only in the form of a list without any description of the element. Therefore, the evaluation body recommends that the committee refer the nomination of Zauli 
popular music and dance of the, the Guru communities in Côte d'Ivoire to the submitting state party. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Yeah, this is another case of a dual system of draft decision that we will have to examine during the present session. In conformity with the Rule 22.4 of the Rules of Procedure, I'd like to give the floor to the submitting state to provide us with the relevant information regarding the following issues. Extract presented in the form of the list without any description of the element. Allow me to remind that submitting state and its intervention shall be limited to address this issue. Cote d'Ivoire, the floor is yours. Merci, Monsieur le Président, de nous donner la parole afin que nous partagions avec les autres membres du comité la réponse de l'État parti de Côte d'Ivoire aux observations de l'organe d'évaluation contenu dans le projet de décision 12.com 11.b.8. La loi numéro 87-806 du 20 juillet 1987 portant protection du patrimoine culturel de la Côte d'Ivoire, stipule en son article 4 qu'il a établi un inventaire général du patrimoine culturel mis à jour annuellement et qui porte sur l'inventaire des sites et monuments, l'inventaire des biens mobiliers, l'inventaire des arts et traditions populaires. Conformément à cette loi, l'inventaire du patrimoine culturel national est géré et régulièrement mis à jour par le ministère de la Culture et de la Francophonie en collaboration avec les communautés, les associations et les groupes locaux, comme le reconnaît l'organe d'évaluation dans son projet de décision 12.com 11.b.8. Le Zaouli, musique et danse populaire des communautés gourou de Côte d'Ivoire, est inclus dans l'inventaire national du patrimoine culturel depuis 2016 acté par un test officiel, l'arrêté numéro 001 MCF bar CAB du 14 janvier 2016 du ministre de la Culture et de la Francophonie et ce test est disponible sur le site de l'UNESCO. Avant l'assistante financière internationale octroyée par l'UNESCO à la direction du patrimoine culturel pour l'inventaire du patrimoine culturel immatériel présent sur le territoire ivoirien, en vue de sa sauvegarde urgente, l'élément est inclus dans un inventaire national tel que conçu par le ministère de la Culture et de la Francophonie. Cet inventaire n'était pas dans une base de données consultable, mais l'inventaire en cours, piloté par la direction du patrimoine culturel, va déboucher sur une base de données nationale du patrimoine culturel immatériel, où seront reversés tous les éléments du patrimoine culturel immatériel précédemment inventorié et inscrit sur la liste d'inventaire du patrimoine culturel national, y compris le Zaouli. Cette base de données qui sera consultable à la fin de l'inventaire donne des informations, notamment sur le lieu des pratiques, les communautés concernées, la viabilité des éléments. Merci, Monsieur le Président, pour votre aimable attention. Uh, thank you, Cote d'Ivoire. Now, the floor is open to committee members. Palestine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, en réalité, après avoir lu le document qui nous a été fourni par la délégation de Cote d'Ivoire, et après avoir écouté notre collègue de Côte d'Ivoire, je pense qu'il est absolument justifié de opter pour l'option de l'inscription de Zaouli, la musique et la danse Zaouli. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Uh, no, Merci, Monsieur le Président. Dans le même sens que notre euh, le délégué de la Palestine, le Sénégal estime également que l'inventaire qui a été déjà fait en 2016, qui inclut ce, le Zaouli, 
Et un inventaire qui a quand même répondu à une question précise. Maintenant, la base de données qui est, qui est en construction avec le nouvel inventaire financé et appuyé par l'UNESCO devrait pouvoir répondre totalement à la question posée par l'organe. Nous saluons euh, l'organe dans ses, 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 ses explications assez claires par rapport à cette question, mais nous voulons préciser que la Côte d'Ivoire travaille dans cet inventaire en cours et aujourd'hui, il est évident que ce convente, cet inventaire va déboucher sur une base de données et tous les éléments y seront reversés. Et je pense que de ce point de vue, nous pouvons effectivement accepter avec l'organe de décision, l'organe d'évaluation, que ce bien soit inscrit. Nous pensons que la Côte d'Ivoire a déjà engagé, et nous l'avons vu d'ailleurs hier ou avant-hier, avec le rapport qui est fourni par l'inventaire en cours et appuyé par l'UNESCO. De ce point de vue, nous soutenons l'inscription de, cette, de, cette, de cet élément. Merci. Thank you, Sénégal. Other than Palestine, Sénégal, on my list, Turkey, Cuba, Congo, Algeria, Cyprus, India, Zambia, Congo, Mauritius, Afghanistan, Bulgaria, Colombia, Ethiopia, Hungary. So other than these speakers, are there, is there any speakers to propose some different view or opposing views? I see none. Okay, all your country names will be duly registered. And thank you. I believe we are now ready to move to the adoption of the decision para by para. As customary, para one, criterion R1, R2, R3, R4, I believe there will be no objection. Adopted. Para 2 as a whole, adopted. Based on interventions from mem uh, based on interventions from members of the committee, it seems that we are now satisfied that the information considered as missing by the EB has been provided by the submitting state at the present session. Can we consider criterion R5 as proposed under the inscription option adopted? I see no objection. Adopted. Can we consider para 3 as proposed? That one is already adopted. Can we consider para 4 of the inscription option adopted? No objection. Adopted. Can we uh, para 5. Para 6, no amendment in original form. I see no objection, so it's adopted. Can we then adopt? How many times? How many? It's adopted. It's a bureaucracy. Can we then adopt the decision as a whole, as amended? I see no objection. I therefore declare decision 12.com, 11.b, 8, adopted as amended. Congratulations. Cote d'Ivoire, the floor is yours for two minutes. Merci, Monsieur le Président. La Côte d'Ivoire, par ma voix, se réjouit de l'inscription du Zaouli sur la liste représentative du patrimoine culturel immatériel de l'humanité. Elle voudrait par conséquent remercier très sincèrement le président qui conduit si bien les travaux, le comité, l'UNESCO et tous ceux qui ont contribué à l'inscription de cet élément. Riche de sa diversité culturelle, la Côte d'Ivoire est heureuse d'être état partie de cette convention dont l'une des caractéristiques sinon principales est qu'elle qu met les communautés au cœur de sa mise en œuvre c'est pour cela que je voudrais, Monsieur le Président, avec votre permission, laisser la parole au Président du Conseil Régional de la Maraoué pour une brève adresse au nom des communautés dont est issu l'élément. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le Président, 
éminentes personnalités, mesdames et messieurs, nous intervenons en notre qualité de président de la région dont est issu le Zaouli, cette musique et danse populaire des communautés gourou qui symbolise la beauté et la cohésion sociale, pour nous acquitter de deux devoirs. Le premier, de vous adresser à vous-même, Monsieur le Président, au comité intergouvernemental de sauvegarde du patrimoine culturel et matériel, ainsi qu'à l'UNESCO et à tous les États présents, vu l'intérêt accordé aux Zaouli, ces riches patrimoines rassembleurs des peuples. Deuxièmement, apporter l'appui franc des communautés locales aux autorités de la République de Côte d'Ivoire pour le meilleur aboutissement de l'inscription définitive du Zaouli sur la liste représentative du patrimoine culturel et matériel de l'humanité. Éminentes personnalités, mesdames et messieurs, voilà le Zaouli, symbole de la beauté, prisé objet de curiosité que nous avons amené ici sur ce plateau. Quand c'est beau, on le dit, c'est la Maraoué, c'est chez nous. Je voudrais vraiment, au nom de nos populations locales, vous renouveler nos remerciements pour votre aimable attention.
Okay, thank you and congratulations once again to Cote d'Ivoire. Now, yeah, now let's move on to Cuban file. Nomination Punto submitted by Cuba. I'd like to invite our chairperson of EB to introduce. Mr. Chairperson. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Ponto is the poetry and music of Cuban peasants, consisting of a tune or melody over which a person sings an improvised, an improvised or learned stanza based on a rhyming scheme. Ponto is a, an essential element of Cuban cultural heritage that promotes dialogue and expresses the identity of the communities concerned. Knowledge and skills are transmitted primarily through imitation and via teaching program involving workshops delivered by builders and practitioners of the element in houses of culture across the country. From the information included in the file, the nomination satisfies the following criteria for inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. R1, Punto is the poetry and music of Cuban peasants accompanied by string and percussion instruments. The element is transmitted orally by imitation from one generation to the next and is constantly recreated by its practitioners. It plays a significant role in rituals and other sociocultural practices of the communities concerned. R2, Ponto is an expression that is essentially based on dialogue, which is pertinent when considering its potential to contribute to the international visibility of intangible cultural heritage. It promotes mutual respect and the diversity of cultural manifestations. R3, the viability of Ponto is ensured through transmission, research, and awareness raising activities. The proposed measures aimed at encouraging practice and transmission are well defined and clearly presented with the communities, agencies, and institutions concerned. R4, Cultural institutions, groups, and individual builders of the element participated in the nomination process through several stages. The file presents letters expressing the free, prior, and informed consent of the institutional representatives, as well as of the practitioners of Punto. R4, uh, R5, sorry. The evaluation body recognizes that the element was inventoried for the preparation of the atlas of the instruments of folk and popular music in, of Cuba in 1997 and the ethnographic atlas of Cuba, popular and traditional culture in 2000. However, the nomination file doesn't identify the body responsible for maintaining the, that inventory, nor the frequency with which it is updated. Therefore, the evaluation body recommends that the committee refer the nomination of Punto to the submitting state party. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Uh, as customary, I'd like to give the floor to the submitting states to provide us with the relevant information regarding the following issues. Institution responsible for maintaining and updating inventory. Frequency of updating of inventory. Now the floor is yours, Cuba. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Et merci à l'organe d'évaluation pour l'information qu'il nous a donnée et toute l'information soumise sur, sur le rapport qui vient de, de faire. Conformément à la législation nationale du patrimoine à Cuba, la loi 1 et 2 du patrimoine de la République de Cuba, et le Conseil national de patrimoine 
Culturel et l'Institution nationale compétente pour charger de réglementer et de sauvegarder le patrimoine culturel immatériel de la nation. L'organigramme du Conseil national pour le patrimoine culturel reflète la division politique administrative de Cuba dans 15 provinces. Le Conseil national était représenté dans chaque province par centre provincial du patrimoine. Ils sont chargés de faire des inverteurs sur les propres territoires et de les faire sur la base et à côté des maisons de la culture du de, ministère de la Culture de la République de Cuba qui sont également représentés à niveau local dans chaque province. Toutes ces informations recueillies par ceux sont transmises au Conseil national des patrimoines culturels et ils sont conservés conformément aux dispositions de l'article 1 et 12 de la Convention. Tous ces inventaires, toutes ces activités sont mises en jour des inventaires et orientées et contrôlées par le Conseil. Et il y a beaucoup d'informations sur les dossiers qui, qui reflètent tous les travaux qui s'est fait concernant les points cubains. Il y a plus de centenaires de, de publications concernant à cette manifestation. Et en tant que hum, le centre de patrimoine culturel qui va sur l'organisation qui centre toutes ces formations, qui contrôle et tous ces processus de s'inventoire sont d'une façon régulière. Pour lui, Cuba doit les faire pendant deux années. Les, toutes les manifestations à Cuba qui sont déclarées, comme c'est le cas des points, et patrimoine, qu'il y a une déclaration de patrimoine national à Cuba, et il doit faire ces actualisations des inventaires chaque et, deux années. Nous avons envoyé une information par écrit qu'on qu avait partagé avec tous les membres eh, du comité. Et, et dans ce même moment, il y a un processus eh, conformément à la législation de Cuba d'actualisation de ces inventaires. Et comme nous avons bien l'expliqué eh, dans notre dossier, eh, on avait, dans l'information qu'on avait envoyée à les États membres, on avait souligné dans quel paragraphe du dossier se trouve eh, cette information. Je voudrais remercier encore une fois à l'organe d'évaluation et au secrétaire et aussi aux membres du comité pour nous écouter et pour bien recevoir toute l'information que nous avons envoyée. Merci beaucoup. Uh, thank you for Cuba. Dear colleagues, the interpretation will be provided until 5.50. We are now only a five minutes left, so we have to decide whether we will proceed without the interpretation, or we will stop after some general debate. So, Palestine. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, as for your question, whether we uh, shall continue without translation or uh, we, we stop, it is up to you. We are flexible. But I wanted to take the floor about El Punto, the element that is under consideration. And following the uh, evaluation of the evaluation body, uh, pardon, je vais le continuer en français, uh, nous voyons que c'est un élément tout à fait important. Uh, la, la poésie et la musique uh, um, des paysans cubains, c'est quelque chose a priori qui est pris très au sérieux par uh, nos compatriotes de Cuba. Et puis, euh, le, le simple reproche pour le R R5, c'était la question de l'organe responsable de, de la mise à jour et la fréquence de la mise à jour. Et je pense que euh, ce, ce souci, cette préoccupation a été tout à fait répondue, aussi bien par écrit que par oral, par notre, euh, nos, nos, euh, nos camarades de Cuba. Et donc, c'est la raison pour laquelle la délégation de Palestine recommande vivement et euh, fortement l'inscription de El Punto sur la liste rep représentative du patrimoine de l'humanité. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, uh, Palestine. Il y a beaucoup de speakers. Donc, est-ce qu'il y a un membre de l'État qui souhaite prendre la parole juste pour exprimer une forte opposition I see none. So you uh, all the uh, supporting the speakers' names will be duly registered. So thank you. I believe we are ready to move to the adoption of the decision para by para. As customary, please. Para one. R1 through R4, no amendments, is adopted.
Can we consider para to adapted as a whole? I see no objection is adopted. As customary, can we consider criterion R5 as proposed under the inscription option adopted? Para 3, R5 adopted. So can we consider para 3 as proposed under the inscription option adopted as a whole adopted? Can we consider para 4 of the inscription option adopted? I see no objection adopted. Can we then adopt the decision as a whole as amended? Seeing no objection, I therefore declare decision 12.com 11.b 9 adopted as amended. Congratulations, Cuba. The floor is yours for two minutes. Je serai très bref, eh, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais remercier le comité pour eh, la décision. Eh, el, le point est né au suite de la formation de la nationalité cubaine et le résultat de la participation des centenaires de sons et des femmes de peuple qui ont donné vie à ces manifestations de chant, de poésie, de musique et de création. Le point, le point, le point est le patrimoine de la tradition et la campagne cubaine. C'est l'histoire d'un peuple qui chante ses actes, ses vies quotidiennes, c'est un symbole de la cristallisation des respect à la diversité culturelle et le dialogue interculturel. Nous, sou nous souhaitons eh, dédier cette eh, déclaration à tous les culteurs et portateurs de ces manifestations cubaines qui occupent un, un place fondamental dans notre culture. Suite, eh, nous voulons passer la parole à un portateur de ces manifestations qui, eh, en utilisant des lettres, a envoyé un message pour ce comité suivi d'un petit hommage à Joséito Fernández, c'est un poète repentiste eh, de Cuba, auteur de la Guantanamera. Merci beaucoup. Thank you, Cuba. Hola, Alexis Díaz Pimienta desde Tokio, la capitale de Japón, y acaba de llegarme la buenísima noticia de que el punto cubano ha sido inscrito eh, en la lista representativa del patrimonio inmaterial. Así que desde aquí los quiero felicitar a la delegación cubana y sobre todo mandarle una décima de ánimo y de confianza en que obtendremos este importantísimo lauro. Dice, eh, en la ONU se ha logrado para el repentismo un hito que por fin ha sido inscrito aunque aún no se haya votado. El punto cubano ha dado un salto internacional. Ya está en la lista final, lista de muy alto nivel representativa del patrimonio inmaterial. Ahí lo dejo. Bueno, no, lo, lo voy a cantar un poquito. Que, que, que aquí en Japón no ha punto guajiro nunca dice. Y en la UNESCO se ha logrado para el repentismo un hito. En la UNESCO se ha logrado para el repentismo un hito que por fin ha sido inscrito aunque aún no se haya votado. El punto cubano ha dado un salto internacional, ya está en la lista final, lista de muy alto nivel, representativa del patrimonio inmaterial. Y felicidades a todos los repentistas cubanos, a todos los estudiosos de la décima, a todos los defensores de esta tradición que ya es patrimonio de Cuba y ojalá sea reconocida en todo el mundo como lo que es. Ahí lo dejo. Congratulations. Porque creen que no en en el momento y ya colegas, ladies and gentlemen.
Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Before closing, let me remind you that tomorrow morning the Bureau will meet again at 9 a.m. in the Halla Hall to continue with this work. The Vice Chairperson from Bulgaria, Colombia, Cote d'Ivoire, Palestine, and Turkey, as well as our rapporteur, please be there on time. I will now pass the floor to the Secretary for a new practical announcement. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The ICH NGO Forum will be meeting in a plenary session between 6 and 8.30 p.m. in Samda Hall on the third floor. Thank you. Thank you. I declare today's meeting adjourned.